So I got my very first tattoo and it was done in a tattoo ritual. We had a ceremony around it and I would love to share how it was for me because it was a very, very special thing for me that I would like to share with you. Um, I actually didn't think that I will ever get any tattoos. It's not that I was against it. It, it just felt like, hmm, like what for? And when I heard about Hannah and how she is conducting ceremonies and tattoo rituals, it instantly resonated with me because I could feel intuitively that she is somehow working very, very similarly to, to me. And I didn't even meet her, but I trusted fully my, my intuition and my whole body was somehow, um, yeah, it felt very alive, very excited and very much like, oh my God, I need to get a tattoo from her. And I didn't even know what kind of design it'll be. Um, <laughs> I only knew or felt my intuition and I w what I would like, what kind of energies I would like to invite into my life at this stage of my life. So I got in touch with her and I was lucky that she was free at the specific dates that I was asking her for. Um, and then the whole process started with um, me telling her about my intention and about my current phase in my life and what, what I would like to invite. And I also kind of showed her the, the type of tattoos that I like. Um, and then I just kind of let it all go and let her do her thing where she also just simply connected to whatever. <laughs> I felt that she, she is a really, yeah, she's really channeling um, the art for her clients based on whatever they tell her, based on her own intuition. And yeah, so she kind of, yeah, she sent me the design and then there were like a few things where I wanted some changes. And then um, in the end we had this. And when I arrived at her place, um, we took the whole day or she took pretty much the whole day just for me. And that in itself was already quite an honor and quite a, huh, yeah, quite a, yeah. Like it gave me a feeling of, oh wow, I'm, I'm somehow important and this is important and she takes her time and she wants to take care of me. She wants that everything is perfect for me. She wants that I, have, I am feeling comfortable in my skin, that I'm feeling comfortable with, you know, whatever she is doing. Um, so it, and it was like a, like in a flow um, and to be more concrete we um, we had we drank cacao ceremonial cacao which is meant to open the heart and to relax you a little bit um, we invited also some energies from all four directions in a very shamanic way um, you know, in order to create a safe bubble, in order to also invite the ancestral support and guidance. Um, she also, um, yeah, she also um, used her voice, she used her, um, um, her way of playing the drum and the flute and uh, the singing bowls 
um, in order to bring me also into a more meditative state. Um, yeah, so before we actually started with this, with the tattooing, I think three hours went into the preparation of the body, of, you know, me feeling comfortable in my skin, me feeling comfortable where I was in her space. Um, and I felt like she was really giving me the space that I need um, in order to feel safe. Um, and even at the beginning, I was very, very excited and I could feel that, wow, there is so much already happening inside of me connected to that ritual and already you know tears started flowing because there was so much um yeah so much that just wanted to to be let 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 go of um yeah she also introduced me to the the you know ancient history of indigenous peoples that used tattoo techniques in uh, for healing because most of the time the tattooing was being done at acupuncture points points um, that served a certain purpose and intention um, served healing served also as a rite of passage in order to bring certain energies into the being of the person and for me a whole new world just opened up just by spending this one day with her and yeah and I mean I can go into into the actual ritual I mean the ritual where you receive the tattooing and she uses uh, the, the hand poke um, technique which is supposed to be gentler than the machine um, I think it also takes a little bit more time um, and for me and I get the question like did you feel pain and I felt pain initially and um, Hannah also invited me to to um, make some sounds with my voice to alleviate the pain and to also to bring me into a state of trance or into a, into a meditative state where all of a sudden the pain was not there anymore. I could feel the sensations on my body but I didn't identify or categorize them as pain anymore. It was simply, ah, there is a feeling, there is a certain energy that penetrates my system right now. Um, and it was not painful anymore, it was simply a feeling that I'm not um, yeah, putting the category or the label of, oh, this is pain. So, yeah, once I got myself into that state of, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just some some feelings that my body is experiencing without identifying myself with it. It felt, it felt liberating and also lots of lots of things started coming up, especially, you know, in the heart center, there are also lots of acupuncture points here um, where certain memories started coming up, certain, um, yeah, traumas or wounds that still needed to be looked at and it was an extremely healing experience for me where I could also openly just express my emotions and you know let my tears flow um, and I felt with Hannah I felt like super held and protected and completely free to express whatever wanted to be expressed and for that I am so grateful and I I can't imagine having a tattoo with anyone else right now unless they are working exactly the way that she is she is approaching you know the work that she's doing yeah and somehow I also know that this is not the last tattoo <laughs> somehow and yeah it's like a cliche it's like once once you start, you cannot really stop. Um, 
and I now understand why it is the way it is um, and it's such a potential for for growth for healing for understanding energy for understanding hmm, yeah intentions for understanding how someone who facilitates space for you plays such a huge role in your overall experience and also in the the energy imprint that is now also in your system and in your body yeah and if you have any more questions please get in touch with me